So I've always been intrigued with really just trying to optimize and systemize things and everything that's in my head, everything that I've always had in my head, I've always been the type of person to draw out flow charts over on my whiteboard here. I've always been the sort of person to just try to systemize everything and save every bit of time. Some people may say that's kind of crazy, but I just genuinely get a kick out of it and I love making things systemized, automated, simple. So that's why I love Notion and that's why I use it for my marketing agency's CRM slash project management system and, and literally created this thing in probably less than a day. Of course it takes a while to maintain it and improve it, but it's probably less than a day that it took to create it. So I'm gonna hop into it and actually show you guys what this looks like because it's it's really a testament to the strength of the software that is Notion. Now guys, if you wanna incentivize me making more awesome videos like this, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a quick like. Just make the little like button turn blue and that will make my day more than you know. Like it really does make me wanna make more Notion videos and improve my YouTube channel every day just for getting likes. Like I'm not, I don't have to get paid to make these, um, but just tap the like button and enjoy this video. So in my business, there are essentially companies, there are people, there are projects, tasks, and tutorials. These are the five things that I deal with on a regular basis. So within companies, there are my clients and there are connected companies. I've got related contacts and this is just using a relational uh, database feature in Notion. If you guys don't already know about like relational databases, roll up tables, databases in general on Notion, check out a video that I just made. I'll link it as a card in one of these corners here. I just talked about it, went super in depth on uh, these databases. So take a look at that if you haven't uh, already learned that about Notion, it'll be super helpful. Um, so yeah, I basically link other databases and I'll show you guys soon here um, to different contacts, different resources, and the resources column is actually gonna be omitted because I don't manage my resources in, uh, in Notion anymore, I do that in Google Drive. But then there's projects, they're related to companies and there are types of relationships like deal flow here. Deal flow means that it's in like the sales stage of the project, deliverable flow means that I've been paid for it or I've they've signed on the dotted line and the project has started and we're working on it. And there are other types of relationships that I'll get into when we get to the projects. So let's go back to the operations section here and I'm gonna show you the people tab. So under the people tab, there are names of people, there are related companies. So the, the company that that person is related to, and I don't have my whole address book in here. I've actually just introduced this people section, so I'm working on it as we go here. Um, and then there's a relationship. So potential client, 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 employee, potential client, potential client, client, or partner. A partner would be considered like somebody who actually helps me get deals. Um, so these are all sort of the different relationships that I could have and in here I'll have phone number, email and things like that and then related tasks. And these are the tasks that are derived from these relationships. So for this one right here, close website deal, uh, it's a lower ticket deal so that's what I put in parentheses. Um, this is a task uh, for a meeting and this meeting is essentially going to be with this person over here. I have it blurred out because I don't want you guys to see all these private uh, names and I don't think they would be interested in me sharing these things, but essentially these tasks are related to the person. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to operations and now I have our projects tab. And the projects tab is very interesting because it shows service types. So at my agency, I provide local SEO, national SEO, website design, Google ads, Facebook ads, consulting, and website maintenance. So I kind of put in the different service types that I'm providing for this specific project. And typically a project just means like somebody signed a contract for me to do some work for them. So these are in deliverable flow if they signed and they're in deal flow if they haven't signed yet. And then any past projects get put in gray and uh, onboard flow means they're in the middle. They're kind of in that exchange between becoming a sale and uh, becoming a deliverable type of deal. These all have related companies and then they have related tasks within them. Uh, so within projects, we need tasks, right? So we need to know what we're doing on a daily basis, like day in and day out. And as I said, I'm refining this as we go guys, but here are some of the tasks that I've laid out so far. And this is what they pretty much look like. So I have a completion column to check off tasks when they're complete. And actually I have a few different views here so I can view it as relationships. Okay, so, I, so these are different meetings and follow-ups that I need to make. I can view it as archive, and it will show me which ones are completed already and which ones um, basically are in the past. 
and then I can go to deliverable view and it will only show me the deliverables, like the projects that clients are paying me for. Now let's say we didn't want this to show up. Since it's checked, we want it to maybe disappear and just go to the archive view. What you could do is you could literally go to filter, add filter, and then we can do and is not uh, completion like that. And that would get rid of that whenever you click on one. So let's say I click on this one because that's complete. Maybe I click on this one because that's complete. And then they would simply go over to the uh, archive view here. And if we unchecked them, because let's say you made a mistake, uh, they'll just go back in. So like that one's not complete. So I'm going to put that one back in. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different views for the tasks. And then within tasks, sometimes you have a new hire and they need to understand how to do something. So we're going to have tutorials, right? You've got to have like every piece of the process mapped out for people to understand. So what's going to happen in the tutorial section is under how to create a site map. I'm actually just going to literally record a loom video of me recording, you know, how I create a site map step by step. And you can list out in notion actually like one, uh, you know, open, uh, sitemap software, uh, two, uh, do keyword research. Obviously I need to go in and refine this process so I know it off the top of my head and I can like explain it to someone, but that's what the tutorial section is for. And then within the tasks section now, if I have a responsibility set for someone, they can actually go in and view a related tutorial um, in we're, we'll just put in another uh, column here that's like related tutorials. So they'll literally just be able to click on them and view a tutorial on how to perform that task. So there you have it. That is how I'm using Notion within my business. Um, if this is something that you want to do, then let me know below and I will make a video about how I did this. I'll walk through step by step how I created this, uh, these interlinking databases. And if you're interested in learning about how to do these things, make sure to check out that other Notion video. I'm actually gonna pull it up as an end card right here. That Notion video will show you how to basically use uh, relations, rollups, and databases within Notion. It's a super powerful video, so if you really wanna optimize and systemize your life in Notion, definitely check it out. If you like this video, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one.